Hello, this is a gospel reading and a short reflection for Wednesday the 24th of June, the Feast of John the Baptist. Normally we would be celebrating this in Chapel Wood, Sprakeham, and hopefully next year we will be. The reading from Luke chapter 1 beginning at verse 57. Now the time came for Elizabeth to give birth and she bore a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbours and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. This is John the Baptist. And uh, in the lead up to the story, you may wonder why they had to give a writing tablet to John's father, Zechariah. Uh, you might remember that earlier on in Luke's Gospel, an angel has appeared to old Zechariah on his priestly duty in the temple uh, and told him that he and his wife Elizabeth, old as they are, will be having a son. And Zechariah has, with a lot of common sense really, given the rational response, how do I know this is going to happen? We're very old. And the angel has said, excuse me, I'm Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. I think you can trust me, but because you haven't, you will be struck dumb until the day these things occur. And that day comes to pass in the reading we've heard. A slightly comical scene where uh, they have to decide on the naming of the child at the same time as his circumcision. And everybody says, let's do the traditional thing, name him after his father. The old boy will like that. He can't speak anyway. And Elizabeth said, no, he is to be called John. And they said, oh, come on, nobody in the family has that name. Let's ask the father. You're only the mother. And Zechariah writes, his name is John. And his mouth is open and he begins to praise God. Cue general astonishment. And... Uh, Shortly after, uh, Zechariah speaks a prophecy, which we know as the Benedictus. I'm going to read it at the end. But the thought that strikes me really is how resistant we are to change and how God over and over again does a new thing. He did a new thing, an unexpected thing, with the birth of John the Baptist. He would do an even more unexpected thing with the birth of Jesus, his cousin. And those who are used to things being the way they've always been, find it hard to adjust, question the new thing until it is fully made clear and revealed to them and then they are astounded and we're just the same. We like things the way they have been but sometimes what God has to do in order to wake us up to his presence and his power is to do a new thing and open our eyes to it and open our mouths that we may praise him. Amen. So here's the Benedictus to end with. And I'll say it and we can you can listen and, and pray it through. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favourably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of of his holy prophets from of old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant, the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. 
in the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Amen.